This is an exhibition of 15 recent paintings, all painted this year, by the Ghanaian-born, London-based African artist Kojo Marfo, and they're all acrylic on canvas. We can split them into two types. There are the individual portrait types that you see along this wall, all part of a series called Stranger. And then we also, looking further around the room, uh, you'll see that there are also group portraits of similar figures to these, but very often there are other uh, figures involved in the scenes, including like pet dogs and cats and sacred cows, uh, vases of flowers and so on. So very much the exhibition is about uh, identity. Kojo actually refers to it as dreaming of identity. That's the title for the show. And this is Kojo as someone who's born in Ghana with its own cultural traditions, coming to London, uh, go, moving across to New York, uh, trying to find his place in the world as a human being and as an artist today. Uh, and what I really love about these paintings is the way at first when we see them, they do look like strangers but the flowers in the hair and the very humane expressions that come through these frontal archaic eyes and the beautiful decorations in their earrings and nose rings some of them have and uh, floral decorations in their clothes. I really feel as though I can identify with these figures myself. Uh, they're often genderless, they're, they're, there's no obvious sort of sexual polarity in the figures and uh, it's very, very hard once we start looking at them to see where they're from. So some of the faces actually have quite lighter flesh and others have darker flesh. Some of them are multicolored. So I think Kojo is beautifully trying to break down the barriers that exist between, amongst human beings across the world, but also the barriers between nature and culture and different types of animal. So some of the animals are even wearing the same earrings and pearl necklaces as the human characters in, in the paintings. It's a tremendously humane exhibition. And any of you who've heard Kojo actually speaking in an interview will know what a warm person he is and how much he wants to communicate with us through his paintings. It's, it's, it's really funny because um, I always say that these images are not beautiful images. It's not an image that I call a beautiful art. I don't really um, associate it with beauty. I think the whole idea is to, to, to use these images to talk about all the nonsense I want to talk about. But, and I think the imperfections, the imperfections on the artwork is what makes it beautiful to me. The fact that they're not perfect makes it um, beautiful to me. And as soon as I start cleaning it, making it all nice and clean, I lose interest in anything. And for me, going to look at art or going to art galleries, I look for an artwork that is rugged, artwork that is like, really like, what the heck is that kind of thing. And um, those things, I find beauty in them than the polished, clean, beautiful artworks. And um, that's always been my inspiration. And the idea behind my work is to not create anything that will be, even though they are objects, but it will, it will become an object of beauty. And I don't want it to become that side of it because beauty is a very strong um, thing to actually um, where to use because we are all beautiful in our own little ways. This show will be about um, living in a society where we all feel responsible for one another. A society that everyone cares for one another. I mean, I always say that so you cannot live a very happy life if your neighbor is not happy your life will not be complete because we all depend on one another. To live in a society where you feel like you are part of everything is the idea behind the show. The show will be a bit more about others, but not me. <laughs> it will be about others. It will be about the story of people. And um, my story, actually, could be about my story and um, how I see myself in 
the world that I live in at the moment. Well here, I'm looking at another of the group portraits and um, very often the figures are kind of quite difficult to, uh, to identify gender in and if I remind you of the title of the exhibition, Dreaming of Identity. I think I've spoken with Kojo about this and he likes the idea that it's not always obvious to say whether these are men or women. Um, and uh, so that Dreaming of Identity is to do with Kojo. Kojo works at night, so talking about dreaming is a, is a lovely image for his sort of for his practice of painting, as it were. Uh, so here we've got a painting called Lotus, and that refers to the vase in the bottom right-hand corner uh, with these lotus flowers uh, growing from it. And again, we have a symbolic, historical, mythological reference by the choice of this flower in this painting, and that he brings attention to it by calling it lotus, because lotuses were sacred to the ancient Egyptian culture, and the Egyptians, of course, we sometimes forget with our Western way, ways of looking at art history and archaeological history, they are Africans, the Egyptians. Uh, so we have that lotus plant which refers to the, the African continent as well. But the first thing that struck me when I first looked at this painting was it reminded me of something. And then I remember speaking with Kojo, who had said that he was very influenced when we were talking about artistic influences. Picasso's an obvious one, so I'm not going to talk more about that. But there was another more interesting one, Fernand Leger's painting. And if you if you use a search engine and look for Trois Femmes, which is in a gallery in Paris now, as Leger painted it in 1927, you will see it has the same composition of this as this with the kneeling figure on the floor, which I said to Kojo, it almost reminds me of the Black Lives Matter movement with taking the knee, and he didn't deny that, but artists like these poetic ways of looking at their work, so there may be that uh, contemporary possibility of taking the knee. You'll also notice that the ruffs that these figures are wearing, these are decorations that people in the Tudor and Baroque period of Western culture used to wear around their necks, made of lace to express social status, the bigger they were, the more important they were. So these are references to the Tudor, Elizabethan, Baroque tradition of European aristocratic dress, but on African people, as it were, who have their stretched ears uh, with, their, uh, with their earrings through them. You can see the strings of pearl necklaces that we've seen in the other images as well. This also interested me because to my eyes this neck decoration around the smaller figure is a lunula, a lunula, which means a little moon, it's a Latin word, and Celtic, ancient Celtic culture used to wear this uh, also as a signifier of social status around their necks. There are examples of these in the British Museum from 2,000, 2 to 3,000 years ago as well. So on first view, we see what looks like an African mask, but when we look again, we notice that it's not a mask, it's actually broken through with these kind of jagged lines, and we can even see the nostrils of the figure. So what Kojo is getting us to do here is to see through the mask, see the humanity staring out at us from behind the mask. And this is all to do with Kojo's overriding theme, dreaming of identity. Who are we? Who is the artist? How, what is our relationship with these strangers, as Kojo titles them? And when we look at the individual portraits and the group portraits, we have a similar mask in each one. We have the similar uh, stretched ears with the, the, lo the lobe stretched and hooped earrings in them. But there are differences, particularly in the color of the skin, the color of the flesh that, and eyes, indeed, that we see through the mask. So this one is a kind of um, quite light flesh color. But as we move along, you'll see that eyes change color, the color of the flesh changes, sometimes to red, sometimes to pure white. Uh, so these kind of black African masks are also referencing both African people, but people from all over the world. It's a global community that we're aware of uh, when we experience Kojo's paintings.